Happy Friday to her. Uh, happy Friday, Consuela. <laughs> I think you win for like toughest week this week. I I don't know. You've you've had a you've had a pretty hectic one here. So yeah, long long days. Long days. Yeah, yeah. But we are barreling towards spring break, and that's what I just keep focusing on. <laughs> that's fantastic. It's like, spring break's gonna be amazing, and then before I know it, the end of the year is here, and there you go. But yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I was just looking forward to Friday like I always do because I get to spend it with you, Fliffin. Yeah, so. absolutely. Yeah. I'm excited about that myself. Yeah. So I suppose we could just ju jump right in to um, what we're wearing. Do you want to start? Uh, well, yeah, you. Or you want me led to start because one. I kicked us off in the styling. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Let me turn my interface on so we can. Cause you know i didn't make a list so i gotta turn the interface on all right so actually what started it for me was these um the thigh bands they're by aloe and um which i I, great. I happen to notice they're a sponsor this week so i was like how appropriate oh, how appropriate <laughs> so um so yeah so uh aloe ribbon garters and yeah. so I was messing around with them and this holographic, I'm not usually a holographic kind of person, but I don't know. I just really like these ribbons and I've been wanting to rock some aloe and, yep. um, you know, I'm not going to go tits out aloe so I can be, um, soiled, but, um, <laughs> you're just going to do the aloe leg bands. So I wore those. So that's my leg bands. If I start going down, these shoes are pure poison. They're boots. Um, and I picked them up about the same time we were picking up all their funky nails. So before I get to nails, if I go to Pure Poison, these are the Lorena boots. And they were a fliff item. And I just thought they're real clever. I like how they're done. Um, I do too. They're a nice, they're a unique style that I personally haven't seen before. Um, and then if I go up these shorts, and I'm actually busting out of them a little bit at the belly, which you don't mind. But um, otherwise, they are Beauty Factory, which is not a Fliff designer, but I was looking, I didn't want to leave, uh, I wanted to rock the rolls. I want it to be yeah. juicy. So I'm like, okay, I need to find something that's juicy boob and juicy roll. And I had this, this version of the Beauty Factory shorts that are, I want to say, I'm looking for them on my list here. They're uh, Paola shorts, yep. Okay. For juicy rolls. I went back to the store to buy the fat pack because I'm like, I love these and I only have the one color. Oh, I love them too. But I bought the fat pack and it was just juicy. So I couldn't find it. I'm sorry, just reborn. I couldn't find it in the store where the juicy ones were. And I was hmm. like, I wonder if I just saw this one at, at an event. And I just like, let me just try one color. Because, you know, sometimes I do that. Um, yes. I should have bought the fat pack wherever I found these. So anyway, Paola, if you know where I can get um, anyone watching, where I can get the fat pack of these that's not in the store. I, I didn't even try the marketplace, <laughs> so it might be there. Um, Could be. Then over on my nails, I have the other set of nails that Pure Poison put out for 50 London Friday as I move my hand. And these are so cool because they have like the flower pattern on them. They're so fun. Yeah. They're very colorful. Yeah. I'm really digging these a lot. I love that two of the nails like make, make up the, the flower. flower. Yeah. yeah. That's so cool. And is. this is Nelly Nails and Rings. And we're going to have some noise here at my house. I'll try to push through. My dogs are hearing someone arrive home, so they're making a bit of noise. Um, the top is uh, Alusha, and it's from one of her sets. I just pulled the top because I wanted a juicy top. Don't <laughs> mind my dogs whining away, because why not? Let's whine while I'm trying to record a video. <laughs> and let's see, um, Alusha. Alusha, where is it on my list? I feel like people will see it and be like, right there, as I'm trying to scroll. There it is, Alusha CO top. So there's a CO outfit, so this is just the CO top. And I liked that it, it did give some appearance of some some straining or ruffling around the buttons, which we like. Yes. Um, yep. So there's that. The armbands, I don't believe, are a flip creator. No, they're messy. Messy, right. And so, like, where on my list are they? They're the messy, cute armbands. And they actually came with a choker, but I totally got these just for the armbands. And what's, very cute. Yeah, what's cool is that they have the, there you can get, the, there's three zones, the top like little like loops, the bottom loops and the middle. So you okay. can color them very fine, you know, fine. There's fine, a lot of control there. 
Really um, nice. Yeah. And you, if people are seeing my shine, I still have my Alt 3. Um, I, I want to say it's Constellar, I think is the name of the shine. So hmm. there's that. And then moving up to my head, I still have truth the truth hair on from last week because I really love this one. So well, usually you know me yes. when I get into a hair, and you're the same. When you start wearing a hair and you just don't want to take it off, this is one of those <laughs> hairs. Um, and so this is Maven, uh, truth hair, also a Fliff designer. I have my, I still kept the crown on that I was wearing last week. I just changed the color. It's from Masu, also Fliff designer. Um, and it's the soiree mm -hmm. crown. Uh, for earrings, whoops, lost my camera. Hang on, let's zoom back in. Um, I got a little carried away here. So earrings is um, yummy. So yummy is also with designer. And yummy, this one is called at the top, right? Romy, Romy earrings. I still have the glasses I've been loving for weeks and weeks. <laughs> These are not fliff, but they're um, Minuit Miku glasses. I just keep <laughs> changing the color. And then Okay, so Zipper has me absolutely in love with these nubby brows that you're like, I don't know about those, Consuela. <laughs> and I'm like, I love them. And I actually made them gray this time to match my streaks yeah. in my hair. And I'm loving that. these nubs. Uh, Zipper, I hope you continue to make the stamps that go with the nubby, the nubby brows, because I think right now I have tribal on. But you know, I had I had ones that were called Sparkle on before, and I I just love them. It's just a new take on brows that I've not done before, and <laughs> I'm in love. I really am. So thank you, Zipper, for this option. I love them, and um, and so I'm also wearing her makeup as well. So this one is where is it? I have so much Alt Three on. Um, I want to say. <laughs> The, okay, so it's the Neographic Brow. That's the one. I, yeah, and Tribal is the brow that nice. I'm wearing. Um, Galactic Matter Shadow. And I believe it's Crystal Camber Vapo Wave is the, the added effect around my eyes. Yeah, the little shine. Yeah, the little shiny bits. Um, Those are really cool. I just love this whole look. And so I'm like, thank you, Zipper, for thinking outside <laughs> of the box. This is not your everyday kind of makeup. And I love it. I love it. So, yeah, so there's my all amazing. three. Yep. So I think I touched on everything, right? My yeah. uh, my animations are still lyrium, um, because you know they have a little bounce in it that you like. Um, <laughs> yeah. And I think that covers me. So, um, fantastic. Yeah, it all started with the aloe leg bands, and here we are. <laughs> so. Yeah. All right, your turn. Okay, so I uh, I suppose I'll start in the same way that you did mm -hmm. um, with the shorts, which are not actually a Fliff designer. Okay, they're fun shorts. Um, Looks like you've been painting or something. Yeah, so these are the LNB, uh, well, it's that La Point and Best Child, uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, swear salvage denim shorts. Okay. They have some fun pattern options and uh, I, I could have done a few different types of like shorts and stuff, but I really liked that this had this kind of splotchy paint and stuff mm -hmm. on it. I like it too. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, mm -hmm. I don't have hollow anything really. So yeah. this was kind of the closest to having color flares, which mm -hmm. is why I went that way. Okay. Um, going down, mm -hmm. I am rocking the equal uh, Evan sandals. Okay. With like the uh, the pull straps in the back, the pull straps are optional. I uh -huh. like to have them on when I can. Yeah, those are cool. I think that's a nice touch. Yeah. And I like I the too. kind of um, weathered look of the straps. I do too. Like these have been worn a bit. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, going up to my top, um, it actually so this is the Masu Daddy shirt. <laughs> you didn't tell me that last night when you were putting it on. I didn't. And I was I like, ooh, I right love now. that. No wonder <laughs> yeah. I do. Because <laughs> uh, I think I made a comment uh, sort of like that last night you, when you you did. when you put it on. <laughs> that had to be especially amusing for you. It was. It yeah. was. And it was so hard not to say anything, but I wanted mm -hmm. your genuine reaction. Oh, you got it. 
<laughs> when do you not get a genuine reaction from me? Well, you know what I mean. Yeah. When when you when you get surprised by something. Yep. Yep. Um so it looks like I'm kind of positioned to show off my cool Vichy nails. Uh-huh, you are. So these are uh they're just called the almond uh the male almond but uh -huh. they are the uh it's like their cartoon version um it has uh, to have a name she didn't just call them male almond no they it's not comic book comic, comic book. book i was gonna say it's not like doodle or something is it it's comic book okay it's comic book okay yeah um, the reason why I was confused is comic book only shows up in the folder name and on the HUD. The actual nail is just called Oval Mail. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> or, I get yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. All so that's, oval. Yeah, so that's what I'm wearing. Okay. Uh, uh, then I've got this necklace on. Mm -hmm. It says Bitch Please on it. This <laughs> is the Sean <laughs> necklace by Butterscotch. Okay. It's another rigged necklace, which yeah. I... Like you, I enjoy when it's rigged. Yeah. I don't have to fuss with it. Butterscotch does a lot of nice necklaces. Like, did they also did the Trident one, right? They also did the Trident mm -hmm. one. I mm -hmm. want them to make more because, <laughs> yeah, they're nice. Yeah. Um. And then I've got these uh, Josiah sunglasses, also by Equal. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I have those too. Yeah. Yeah. And I've got my Stoic D A E. Uh, DAE earrings on. Oh, these are stoic. They're not um, Andor. No, these are stoic. Okay, very good. I kind of go back and forth through time. Yeah, them. yeah. And for my hair, I've got another modulus on. This okay. is Benny. Yeah, you've been rocking a lot of modulus. Yeah, I've been working through the modulus that I've picked up to mm -hmm. date just mm -hmm. to try it out and show it off. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm liking it. Yeah, it looks great. Yeah. So that's that's me. That's what you're wearing. All right. Very good. So then it's time for me to bring up my internet window. And yeah. And why do I not see it? Did I not set it up right? Hang on a second. I was like, I thought I set this window up. Uh oh. Uh oh. Come on. Oh, you know what I did? I just didn't flip to it. How about I flip to it? There it is. Okay. <laughs> a little bit of a brain fart for everybody. So. Anyway, so we got um, there, yeah. yes, we got there. Okay, so I had it on the wrong thing at first, but um, we have the featured news, and there's a few things on the featured news. So I'm just going to tab through it um, because I open them in other tabs. So we have mm -hmm. uh, music made in Second Life, and it's Michael. So brand new virtual world resident that has already done over a hundred shows in Second Life. I can say I've not heard of this person before, so mm -hmm. I'll have to give it a listen. So they did an interview with Michael. If you've if you've heard of Michael, please comment uh, when you watch the video because I would love to hear it. So, um, so yeah, yes. I, I also have not, but I love when people do live music mm -hmm. uh, in in SL. Yeah, every now and again we go out to check that out, and it's always yep. it's always a treat. So, yep. yeah, so that's cool. So someone to check out new in SL um then we have oh the new last names thing <laughs> i got a kick out of this i always get a kick out of when sl releases new last names um and so there's some fun ones there the one that jumped out at me was prim dashian uh, yeah and i'm like you're kidding me i'm betting anything that i'm gonna see a bunch of prim dashians it's a, yeah that's a fun one mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but you had a different one that jumped out at you i liked pixel bottom yeah of course you did yeah, <laughs> I think that's fun. So, but there's uh, a lot of good options here. Yeah, and it looks like, according to their one of the, the the first comment after the picture, is that they've been pleased to see the responsive feedback for last names, and that oh. was something I think that a lot of residents missed when they took that away and just made everybody so and so resident. I felt like there yeah. was a large kind of outcry from people who've been in SL for a while to be like, "Hey, last names, come on." Um, yeah. But they stuck with resident only for a long time. But they did, and I think that having the the legacy surname, you know, even with having a display name, it's nice to be able to kind of personalize mm -hmm. your your legacy name. Yeah, yeah. I know we did that, and I have no regrets. Yeah, so. I love I love the names: yeah. growing desire, intrinsic desire. Yep. that we've picked They're out. Perfect. 
Yes. Um, so, and apparently there's a last name suggestion form you can fill out if you too want to suggest last names. So, mm -hmm. um, and it says, they're, so they're doing a, a last name refresh. So they remove some of the older last name options and are adding in these new ones. So, yeah. And then I guess, oh, and then there's, you can see the full list of available last names currently. Mm -hmm. So, all right, very good. So you can, it's going to cost you to change your last name. So depending on your subscription level to Second Life, because can, I, I have to, I can't remember, free ones can change it too. It just costs the most for them, I think. And then, because you have freemium uh, and then you have free, and then you have premium and premium plus. That could be i didn't know if there was a difference in cost oh that, there actually. is there absolutely is okay. yeah i've talked oh, about this with it, mama yeah. lala because so she... premium plus it's 14.99 uh -huh. for premium 34.99 and yep. for everybody else it's 49.99 yes yes okay so so there you go there's the last name i do like hmm? that you can always switch back to names you previously held yes so for for whatever reason if i, I want to switch back to faith rochelle i can but I, there's no looking back for me. I never really cared for that name anyway. So <laughs> yeah. it was just, it was a, on a whim and I was, you know, and then you just get stuck with it and it's like, eh, it doesn't really fit me. But ever well, since- this avatar was never supposed to be like your, your primary no, name anyway. No, no. Just one of the many various <laughs> avatars I made just for funsies. Because, you know, back in the, d in the day, back in 2007, um, <laughs> you couldn't change your names. So you just no. had to make new avatars to change your name. So yep. I made a, a handful of them. So, <laughs> and then, yeah. you know, then I start rotating them around and then I land on one and I'm like, damn, I wish I had thought more about the name of this one. <laughs> so, but then display names helped with that. And yes. that was fine for a while. But then when you can actually change your legacy name, I didn't jump on that right away because all the like troubles with like Casper Vend and stuff. But, right. but if they base it on the avatars, what is it, UUID? Is mm -hmm. that the right word? The right term, yep. acronym? Um, then you don't have any problems, right? Because your your avatar is just like a string of numbers and letters, isn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's it's a hex like code representing a unique value. See, I knew you would say it all technical, which you know you say it better than I could have, but yeah. So there you got it. Last names, new last names in Second Life. I'd be curious if anybody's going to be looking to change theirs, or if there's going to be any other Prim Dashians or pr Pixel Bottoms. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to be watching out for them. So <laughs> I'll let you know. Okay. Next tab is the spotlight on Teal Aurelia. And Teal Aurelia is a storyteller that creates uniquely edited machinima, incorporating exciting visuals that engage and inspire the viewer. I'm going to have to check this out because I have not seen this either. So do you have any experience with this person? Uh, Not with that person in particular, uh, but... I do think that all the machinima that people have done is always mm -hmm. really, really interesting stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna have to check this out. Like actually using virtual worlds to do cinematography mm -hmm. is such a cool medium for yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely have to check this out. Yeah. So. Yep. So if you're looking for something new to check out, please check this out. Machinima, I, it's been a while since I've looked at any uh, machinima. So I'm excited to spend some time with this. Yeah, absolutely. And like it touches a little bit. It's it's obviously requires a, a very different skill set, but it touches mm -hmm. a bit on how we uh, delve into like photography in SL. Mm -hmm. But, you know, Machinima is taking it to across time and motion, yeah. which adds all kinds of complexity. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like I'm even watching oh. the little video preview and it's yeah. very interesting. Yeah. 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 I like how stuff like that's done. Yep. Okay. So the next tab over is about LabGab. And I guess I didn't realize that they were not uh, on the air currently. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. It says they return next week. So I haven't seen, I follow LabGab. I'm like, I'm like subscribed to them on YouTube. Um, uh -huh. But I haven't seen any new posts, but I just figured that's me, you know, because I'm a busy person. So I don't always see yeah. all the announcements. Um, Let's see and then you can fill out a form to submit questions to them and the form will close on march 9th so if you want to ask some lindens a question possibly then there's your opportunity so yeah they have their own second life channel and yep 
There we go. So it, says... it looks like the last one was two months ago. Ah. So maybe it's okay. Um, so they had a little bit of a hiatus. Yeah, maybe over the holidays they took yeah. a break. Yeah. Which fair enough. Like holidays get crazy for everyone. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. So, all right. There's that. So I think we're ready to talk about um, this week's fliff, which is what I had the website on when I first opened it up. And yeah. so it's not Anna Banana, which I'm still wondering what happened to Anna Banana. And you seem to think that she's taking a break. Yeah, so. could be just taking a vacation. Yep. So we have Serena instead, who has declared Shopaholic Dream Wallet's Delight 50 Linden Fridays. Woo! <laughs> I mean, not Flip a lie. Really is one of the best deals yeah. uh, around on yeah. the grid. Yeah. And according to this post, Mithril might be MIA, but I'm just hoping they weren't out really? when they came visiting because Look one of the sponsors that would. Oh well, there you go. They're probably out. They just probably didn't weren't out by the time of this post. Yeah, hopefully, because so. we love Mithril. Yeah. <laughs> Who are the other sponsors? Uh, the other sponsors are Aloe and Gion. Okay. Well, it's like I said, very appropriate that I was inspired by Aloe and putting my outfit together. Mm -hmm. So, and then Gion. Of course, we love Gion. We do. So, okay. Well, I think we're ready to get started, don't you? Yep. Let's delve right into it. All right, Tour. We're at Aloe. And we you are. had told me ahead of time that I cannot cam the item. So, why don't you describe it to everyone? <laughs> Sure. So um, this is not a pasty. This is taking two chopsticks and pinching them around the nipple and tying the chopsticks together on either end. Ouch. So they're pinching down. Some people uh, are into that. Yep. These are called the yin chopstick. Mm -hmm. And then and if I remember the display right, there were just different colors and so it's 50 linen per color bunch of colors uh and there is a fat pack which is discounted it is 350. Mm -hmm. um it's not actually 50 per color it's 50 per color pack okay each pack contains six colors oh nice and what's the actually colored what's colored uh i i presume it's the uh the ties Okay. Little string that's holding the chopsticks together. Mm, okay. I'm, I, that's my guess. Okay. <laughs> All right. Because there's there's not a lot uh, there's not a lot that could be colored. <laughs> yeah, I imagine not. <laughs> so yeah, yin chopsticks. It fits for legacy, legacy perky, Maitreya, Maitreya petite, reborn mounds, and teacups. Okay. Very good. You know me, I'm probably not going to pick this up, but that's okay, because, you know, it's not me, it's for someone else. Absolutely. <laughs> I so. think it's very fun, but yeah, <laughs> I, I understand. Yeah. Okay, are we good to go? We are good to go. All right, so we didn't actually leave. <laughs> we were mm -hmm. talking to a couple of people. You were talking over here to Mubu, and yes. I was talking to... Uh, let's see. They already left. Sophie. Because um, she was asking me about my bumper. But Mubu was asking us about the horns and the look because she is a similar sort of person. Into uh, yeah. similar, similar styling. She's adorable. Absolutely adorable. <laughs> I am a fan. So, and I love that her name is Mubu. Oh, also, somebody is n near us has been inspired by the talk of horns. And uh huh. Freya oh, over here look at that! Dress. Look at her! Popped, popped a couple of horns on nice. herself. Nice! Nice, Freya! Cool. That's cool. Yeah. What the heck? What? Wait. What? Is that. What? Tentacio owner? Freya? <laughs> Are you uh, sure? I don't know. It's That's what it says in her profile. Is she? Is that. Is that the. Yeah. Wait, really? <laughs> what the heck? Now I have to check. Hang on a second. I it's like that... Tentacio, because I got a bunch of it. Tentacio. And if I look at the profile properties. No, Mae Tolson. No, that's Lewis. Oh, no, I was looking at the horns. 
Tentacio is. I was looking at the horns. Yeah, the you've done not that the, before. Not the user profile. You I have done that. that before. We were like, is that I the creator? Sorry. You did that at. Um, yeah. Oh, we were Tylee. Somebody was at Tylee, and you're like, it's yeah. the creator of blah blah. And I'm like, no, it isn't. I know. <laughs> I, I, she has I, Tentacio I, horns on. Yeah. I'm like, no, wait, that's not right. I, it's, 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 yeah, I navigate things <laughs> wrong. Because I was looking at the horns, and then I was like, view profile. And it's like, wait. It's the wrong person's profile. It's the creators, <laughs> not the owners. Law. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, they're great. Mubu, I love I love the name. Yeah. And she's got her little cow ears and horns on. <laughs> and she's got a little bob too when she's <laughs> typing. Had to grab it. <laughs> yeah. Yes, we're together strong. Uh, that's adorable. Does she have a tail too? Did I miss it? I, she doesn't have I'm a tail. A I don't tail. see a tail. But she's adorable. Yeah. Yep. I like her little headgear too. Yeah. That's great. She's cute. All right. She is. Very good. All it's, right. is going to take all night if we keep making friends, which I is know. fine because I don't mind making friends. So yeah. we got we got some new friends here, so and they're great. <laughs> so thank you, Mubu and Freya, who's not the creator of Tentacio. <laughs> <laughs> Just no, a Tentacio lover. So Yeah. Aw, right. she sent us pictures. Aw. Oh, what do they look like? Show. Aw, look at how good that is. That's adorable. That is really good. I think she might have even used Control Zero. I think so. Look at her. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but I think we should but yeah, keep we it moving. All right, thanks. Bye, Boo Boo. <laughs> Bye, Boo Boo. Bye, Freya. Bye, Freya already left. Oh yeah. All right, we're at Gion, and there's furries up front, and I have to cam them because this one is in a suit, sort of. He looks very smart. Yeah. And then his very. companion looks adorable and cute. I'm assuming companion, like, you know, first, like they're together, but I could be mistaken. What, uh, yeah, it's hard to say. What is she supposed to be? That's what I'm trying to figure out. I don't... She's adorable. Uh, I just don't know what she's supposed to be. Yeah, I'm not sure. She does have rabbit ears on, but she, that's a could, big like foxtail yeah she's a creature of her own design which more power yeah, she's to very chimeric which yeah. i enjoy yeah but they are cute whether they're a couple or not and yes. apparently that's what fliff is about today cute couplings <laughs> so anyway we are at gian very appropriate for for spring right <laughs> all right so we've got the squirrel feeder yes that's fun and the squirrel oak tree okay is this where you yes. put your feeder no because you can put the feeder standalone or you can have squirrels on an oak tree so what do you think yeah i love both of these mm -hmm. um, did you pick them up i feel like yeah, this, I, is this I one we haven't had the squirrel feeder before i feel i, I want to say i feel like i've seen it but maybe i'm mistaken mm. oh i don't have it before today okay, okay. so I did have a squirrel, but not this, not this one. variety of squirrel. Okay. Okay. I'm a fan. Uh, yeah, um, it's Gion. How could you not be? I used to have a a bird feeder out, and squirrels would try to get into it. But it was a clever bird feeder that if it, if something like got onto it that weighed too much, it would shift down mm -hmm. and 
um, and block the feeding spots oh. so squirrels couldn't actually eat from it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. However, a bear eventually oh, decided it wanted the sunflowers and uh -huh. it would not be deterred. It just tore the thing down. Of course it did. And then tore it up <laughs> to get to the seeds. Tore it up. And uh, so I did try to make some changes and eventually when the fact that the bear kept showing up and kept hanging around near the yard, I decided, nah, we don't need to have a bird feeder up after all. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to invite the bears to hang out. No, after I had to chase it off one night, I oh, was gosh. like, nah. It's... Yeah. Well, it's just a black bear. They're not, they're... What? Just? What? Yeah. Well, so they're not like they they're not like meat eaters that like hunt people or anything they're they're pretty mellow bears that just want to have a good time and eat sunflower seeds i i don't know that i'd feel the same way if i had a bear in my backyard <laughs> i don't care what kind of bear it is yeah uh i'm fair. not about to google what it eats and what it doesn't <laughs> there's a bear in my backyard and that's a problem for me yeah so yeah. so well, I think that I, I think I just that yelled at it and flashed a flashlight at it and it buggered off. Yeah. I think the scariest thing I found in my backyard is a possum. Mm. And that freaked me out. <laughs> so Really? Yes. What, what do you dislike about possum? They're creepy looking. Okay, I'll grant you they do look a little creepy, but they're really nice. Well, they're, they're creepy looking, and then they play dead, and I don't know if it's really dead or not, and I don't want a dead thing in my backyard. <laughs> and then my dog likes to go after things, and I don't need her, like, messing with, like, a possum. Yeah. Or, like, trying to carry it around in her mouth. Right. Like, I just can't. And can't. Yeah. So, that's probably got to be the creepiest thing that I've ever seen in our backyard. Uh, I don't know what I would do if I saw a bear. There, I there are coyotes in the area, but I've not ever had, the, you know, fortunately not seen one or found one in our backyard. So huh. I have seen them running across the road. I've seen them in a n number of locations, but not in my backyard. That would freak me out too. So. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, one good thing about possums is they will deal with any like uh, ticks and stuff in your. Mm -hmm. in your yard they actually eat them so okay pretty handy well i figure i i take your word for it i'm just not interested in interacting with one so <laughs> that's all but anyway again mm. we're gonna make this fliff last all night if we don't keep moving all right all right looks like mithril does have something out yes they do they have two things out they do. They've got this lovely um, planter with, uh, let's see, what type of plant is this? This is the fi Ficus umbr umbrella umbellata okay. planter. Sorry. <laughs> I wonder is... if it's this big or if it's meant to be like tabletop or not. I, I would think it would be this big, this size. Yeah, because I don't usually like make things smaller than they usually are when they display them. Yeah. Okay, this Obviously person is holding them. a bear. Do you see this? Uh, yes. They uh, are having uh, some issues. But the fact that they would be holding a bear after we spent all the time talking out about a bear, you uh, would think they could hear us. And I know my in-world mic isn't on. Maybe they thought that it was a companion. Well, oh, clear. there it goes. Are they, oh, is he? What? Well, no. it's not really supposed to be it's a not, companion. It's not. It's, it's supposed to be sitting on the ground. Right. Okay, but enough about him. The other is a plant. The other, in a, yes. In a pot, a, pot of plants. Let's see. This is a small fern. Devalia fern. Uh -huh. Very nice. That's lovely. So, each... um, as always, I love mithril, and I really like this larger planter mm -hmm. that would do well as like an accent piece, either like along a wall or yeah. on a um, on a ledge somewhere. Uh -huh. So. Definitely getting these. Uh, you can buy them each. You get two color pack or two colors per pack. Mm -hmm. So okay. that's quite a deal for Fliff. Yeah, I'm gonna pick up both because I always like me some mithril. 
Yes. And like I said, I like when they do unique things like this bigger planter with the rocks and sand. I do too. So, so. okay, I'm gonna pick it up. Let's keep moving. Okay. All right, tour. Where are we? We're here at ADD Andel. ADD Andel, and they have Woodland Fay tattoo. Yeah, oh, this cute. is really nice. Yeah. So it's bomb only. Three options included: tintable, and it's hand drawn. So and it looks like it was designed or maybe created for um, e body, but obviously since it's bomb, you can wear it on anybody. Right. You can wear it on all the bodies. All the body. Well, all, all the three of them. Bodies, yeah. <laughs> all three of them. Yeah, no, yes. we're, ki we're kidding. All the bodies. <laughs> Anything that takes bomb, you can wear it, whether it's reborn or not. Yep. So. Okay, and it's 50 really linen nice for one. all three of them, not separate. Yes. So. And including the tintable ones, so yeah. infinite colors. Yep. Sounds good. Are you good to go? I am good to go. All right. We are at ANC Limited, and then I was distracted yes. by what just teleported away. I'm like, what am I looking at? But it <laughs> went away too fast for me to really process it. Okay. Yeah. So, and I was like, is it the frames? And you're like, no, it's the star effect. So, yeah. star rain. You can have orange or blue, apparently. And what's this on the other side? Star rain they're and the other colors? Blue. They call it blue. Yeah, I guess the they're picture. calling it blue. So, yeah, so uh, these are the two fliff copies the fliff on the colors. right. Yeah, and you can see them behind us. Mm -hmm. So what do you think? You like things like this? I yeah, I'm definitely I'm getting the the uh, fat pack version actually. Yep. Um, How so much is that? On the, if somebody else. On wanted. the left side, the individual colors are one seventy, and the fat pack is three hundred. Okay. Very good. And you can get all four star rain types. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of fun. Yeah, I like I like this kind of stuff. You do? Just to it's add great. a little bit of flair to something that you're working on. Yeah. Agreed. Are you ready to keep going? We are. All right, Tour, where are we? We are at Astara. Astara. And I was like, haven't I bought these before? And then I saw the note. I have been updated to include sizes for CZ Slim and Ebody Reborn. If you have previously mm -hmm. purchased me and have not received an update, please tap the redelivery terminal, which is what I'm going to do. <laughs> because I know yeah. I have these, and I must have bought them when I was still wearing Legacy. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty so. sure that's what happened. Yeah. So these are fun. And did, did, do they fit you too? Jake, you have these, right? Either you didn't. I, you made. The, you might have been in um, Signature back then. I was in Signature back so then. So you yeah, should I'll absolutely these. pick these up because I would think these would go with your cyber looks because you've got yeah, glowy nails. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And you know, Zipper always wants to see you in more nail. Oh dang! What? I just so this is not related to Fliff, but oh. there's this cool uh, belly heart piercing thing which also fits jake right next to it so i'm getting oh, that too. yeah uh-huh <laughs> and this it's is fly by friday to support reborn yeah 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 that's cool you should absolutely wear that yeah you should grab that too okay I will. yeah all right i will pick that up and otherwise are we good to go we are good to go all right tour where are we we're at avani well, what am i looking at well, we have two items here. Mm -hmm. One is this wall-mounted sink. Yep. Looks very, very contemporary, very sleek. Mm -hmm. uh, my take on that is that's intended to be mounted above, like, a countertop. Yeah. So that the pipe, like, pokes into the countertop. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, your drainage is just going nowhere. Yep. Um, the other one is a... Uh, what are they calling this? butter soap and brush okay so it's just a little little tray with butter soap and uh and a brush on it so it looks like the sink and shelf go together they come together when you buy them and then the little brush and soap come separately because at first i thought it was the brush the soap brush and shelf but when you look at the vendor you can see it's not you know what I mean? Yeah, the the vendor, you're just getting that little dish with the uh, mm -hmm. 
the bar and, so and the brush in it. I don't think you can shelf. get the shelf itself. Uh, no, it's part of it. Look at the vendor. You see the sink? Mm. On the side? On the shelves? Yeah. So you I see do. the sink and the shelf above it? That suggests to me that they come together. Oh, okay. So. Yeah, you're. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, you're correct. Yep. I did not see that before. Yeah. So there you go. 50 linen on each if you're looking yep. for some bathroom decor. Or not. I mean, yes. that sink could be somewhere else, but that's what, where my mind goes. Yeah. Same. Okay. Are you ready to go? We are ready to go. All right, Dor. I can tell we're at Banana Banshee. And yep. we have eyes. And they're called Holly. The Holly eyes. And they look like celestial. Like yeah, they kind of do. Got sparkles in Little them and stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's really nice. So if you're yeah. looking for some new eyes, Banana Banshee has eyes for you. Yep, for a very, very good price. Mm -hmm. 50 linen for the whole set. Yep. So there you go. All right, we good to go? We are good to go. All right, we are at Beliza, I can mm -hmm. tell. And it looks like we have, what are they calling it? Black liners, that's Black pretty line. straightforward. Yep. Black, yep, liners. black liners if you don't have them already here you go <laughs> and yep. you know they're a bunch of different options yeah i'm gonna pick them up because i know i have black liners but i like options yeah so, so it's bomb eyeliners for the Luca, Luca evo x mesh head only um so because otherwise it won't really work on any other head so you need the Luca evo x to make this work and it's bomb eyeliners so I, you know me i like a hud but I'll still wear a bomb makeup. Like, even now, with zippers yep. makeup, it's totally bomb. And that's fine. For Lilica Evo X head yep. only. Mm hmm Like, and you can see my flowers on my nails right now. Look how cute that is. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Enough about me. Let's get these Beliza liners and uh, keep moving. Sounds good. All right, Tour, where are we? We are at Bonici. Bonici. Now, I know the name. I just don't think they're on Fliff very often. So. No, we do see them at the Flifty, I want to say. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So this is a special treat. So yeah. this is the Pamela set. And if mm -hmm. it's Legacy, Perky, Reborn, Juicy, which, you know, I'm a fan. Um, Beliza, Gen X, Classic, Curvy, Cooper Cups, Peach, and Maitreya Petite. And it's quite a lot of bodies. It's a lot. It's a lot. All the bodies. And we have, they come in like, is, am I looking at that right? So it's like two color packs. They come in color packs, yeah. So you have three colors in each pack. And it's the top yeah. and the panty, it looks like. Yeah, and it looks like you can shuffle the colors uh, of the different zones, maybe. Okay. For those three colors you get. Okay. And then so there's a fat pack as well. So each color trio is 50 linden. And then the fat pack is how much? Fat pack is 250. Presumably you get more colors that are pictured here. And I think they're next to us, right? You see? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there's the rest of yes. Pamela. There's the rest of it. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So those are all the colors you can get in the fat pack. Yeah. So you positioned us perfectly to take a full look at Pamela. I and it definitely sounds like you did not intend to do that. I did not, so, but I'll take it. You worked it out. Wait, no, I, I totally planned it. You totally did. Calculated. My bad. You absolutely planned this. <laughs> oh, God. All right. I'm going to go ahead and pick it up because it looks like a good deal to me. And yeah. it fits juicy and I'm all about it. So Absolutely. Okay. That's fun. Okay, we're at Bonnie and I got distracted because there's a chunky kitty over here. <laughs> That is a very chunky kitty. Uh huh. And she got, She's a, she, got a fun look going on. She got a thick friend. So I just had yep. to appreciate them for a minute before we got started. And, and it's I'm relevant because she's modeling the top, the top. Which yep. I have already bought because you know me, I love a fun sleeve. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I love it. So I have Definitely already purchased a fun this. Sleeve. Yeah. She got a cute look. Anyway, so if we're over here, let me get our camera on us. Yeah. And here we are. Bonnie, and there they have are. the uh, Ava sweater, I believe is what they're calling it. Yeah. And they're offering it in two colors for Fliff. If you want the fat pack, it's 1500 Linden, which I already bought. But if you just <laughs> want two colors, you can have clay or navy, 50 Linden each. 
Mm -hmm. And uh, as I have said repeatedly, I am a huge fan of Bonnie, and they cannot make enough things. So, <laughs> and yeah, I, I and this, just this is a great love offering. It. Yeah. So, okay, I've picked it up. We're good. We are good. And Bon Bon. <laughs> bon Bon. This is a fun hair. You know, it is. It's a very messy hair. It's messy, and you know, it's not really what I would like. I wish it had more layers to it. Like yeah. as always, I wish they would just build in like a couple more layers. And you know what I was thinking the other day? Whenever I look at hair, for as much as I bitch about hair in SL, like I feel like one day when I have free time, laughs, right? LOL. Uh -oh. I should learn how to design hair. Okay. That would be fun, for me. If it's not frustrating and it might be more frustrating than fun. So yeah, I could see it both ways <laughs> because I see hairs out there and I'm like, man, this is good. If they only added like two more layers to just yeah. really give it that volume. So I feel like there's still a gap in the hair market where, I mean, this is great. I'm not, this, this is, this is me going off on a tangent. This is not a rant against Bon Bon, but it's just, there's a lot of nice hair out there. But I still feel for like what I'm looking for, there's still vacancy, right? That's Bigger. still a gap Bigger. in the market. Yeah. Bigger is better, right? And yeah. so it's still not quite what I want. And so yesterday I got to thinking, you know, if I could learn how to create an SL, what would I do? I would create hair. <laughs> so uh -huh. we'll see one day when I have all this free time, which is not going to happen, but just me talking. Anyway, so Bon Bon and it's the Naira hair. And you have a few ways to wear it. And they even show you, are they showing you the back? Is that what that bottom? Yeah. That's cool. You don't often get shown the back of a hair. No, and I think that, that you should because, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, I'm so buying this because this, this is fun. This is a very much a, I just woke up hair. I mm -hmm. like it. Mm -hmm. For sure. So there's two color packs that are Fliff's price. Yep. The Naturals and the Ombres. Mm -hmm. And then the uh, colors pack is yeah. 300. Very good. So yeah. I'm going to pick up the, I think I usually just get the one on the left because that's like the natural colors. Yeah. Um, I don't usually have much need for the more fantasy type, but I think I probably just buy them both because they're 50 London and that's a deal. I think that's totally fair. So, and then you already said how much the one in the middle costs, the non fliff 300. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm going to pick these up and we'll keep it moving. Okay, sounds good. And ew. Ew, ew, ew. No. <laughs> Who are you talking about it? Okay, so it's called The Cursed Spirit Finger by Clover. They say it's a high-level cursed object that is said to come from the most powerful curse on the planet. When holding it, it will randomly play animations. Uh, you'll throw the finger up. You'll itch yourself with it. You'll pick your teeth with it. It comes in red, orange, green, blue, purple, white, and black. And that is gross. Everything you described is gross. So, so no this thank you. Some people's aesthetic, not ours. No, but, uh, I'm not even looking at the screen right now. Yep. Anyone so who's we'll, watched we'll our videos during Halloween knows <laughs> that this is not my style at all. We'll, we'll keep moving to keep you. And I think it was at the flifty. Squeamish. Yeah. Yeah. So buy it if that's this is your jam it's not ours and we're leaving bye <laughs> why why when, when i'm looking at my calendar right now what month are we in we're in march not october right no okay please describe this item okay so this is broken seraph wounds this is as if you've had your your wings ripped off fun, uh, you fun get times a bomb unisex bomb layer that will give you some uh, fresh and quote-unquote healed tattoos uh, where your wings used to be. Um, and this is cubic cherry. This is cute. Oh, yeah. We're at cubic <laughs> cherry. I presume that this was created because somebody got really, really mad at Cupid for hooking mm. them up with uh, some kind of loser. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Uh, doesn't make me want it though i can't i no. can't do the gory stuff i can't sorry <laughs> sorry if that makes me a pussy in some people's eyes but i can't <laughs> we'll keep moving ah, yes please all right we are at doe 
And thankfully, they are not selling hair made of intestines. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. They have what's not hair, but it's an aura. Yeah. So this that's is cool. Twinkling stars aura. I love it. No, sorry. Tinkling stars. Tinkling? Really? Tinkling. Well. Uh, yeah. Okay. It, the actual item is twinkling, but, you know, the vendor sign. So is this a typo? This is a typo. Because tinkling is something very different than twinkling. It is. It is. Okay, just checking. I wasn't sure if and it was like a regional thing. And the purchased item that you get is called twinkling. Gotcha. Stars. So it's a vendor so, mistake. It's a vendor typo. Oh, they fun. happen. They do happen. And when they do, they're amusing because we all make yep. them. <laughs> so it'd be. So they're showing them on these mannequins behind us, and uh -huh. they have this little little twinkling star effect they do where they fade in and out that looks really fun but if they were you tinkling, can make that work with all kinds of hairs if they were twinkling they should have drops <laughs> <laughs> or little sounds is another oh, way that you can do yeah, tinkling that's true that's true okay um so then you have them over here to the side um it looks like for 50 linen friday you get a different color pack than you do for saturday sale so. Yeah. So you have the metals pack A and metals pack B, and then you have color pack A and color pack B. Are they yeah. all 50 linden? Let's see. Yes. Each of these color packs okay. is 50 linden. I'm going to pick them all up. Because nice. I want some tinkling stars for my head. Sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Ready to go? We are ready to go. All right, Tour. Where are we? We're at Ducky. And Ducky has a bra? <laughs> yes. They call it the slick top. Slick top. All right. So it's rigged for Maitreya, Reborn, Legacy, Legacy, Perky, and Copy Mod, No Transfer. So yep. I wonder if there's um, transparencies, um, if you have control over that or not, because it's pretty sheer. So Yeah, I'm not sure. You'll have to buy it and find out. <laughs> yeah. I mean, for that price, you might as well. You might as well. So, all right. Very good. Are we ready to go? We are ready to go. All right. We are at Fake Society. And Woo. we have the Raven dress, but they really should call it the Raven outfit. Because it's not more than a dress. You get the gloves and the shoes. Yeah, well. which is pretty fun. Yep. They're selling them in two packs. So you have the black and red or the blue and orange. And it fits Reborn, Maitreya, Legacy, Hourglass, Cupra, and Freya. If you it looks like if you buy the fat pack, right? You get twenty seven colors. Ooh. That's, that's a quite lot. A few. Yep. I don't and see Scala the Frontier is modeling it for us. Alright, let's see. She little, she's got a little curve to her. She's yeah. got a butt. She's got nice boobs. Oh, she has fun <laughs> glasses. Look at her. She does. Look at her glasses. She's pretty. She's a pretty girl. Yeah. Those are so. balaclava glasses. Oh. oh, look, it's our chunky kitty again. Is she wearing the dress too? Oh, she is. Uh -huh. She's wearing the orange version. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you said the glasses are balaclava on the other gal? Yep. Oh. Uh, you probably have to go into the store to get the fat pack of this. Okay. I don't see it yeah, out this here. This is the sale area. Yep. Oh. Very nice. Okay, Very well, good. I have picked up the black and red, so we'll run with that, and then I think we're ready to go. We are. All right, Tour, where are we? We are at Floor Plan. Floor Plan, and they have pictures, and I was like, first when I got here, I was like, oh, it's a disco ball, but it's I, not. No, it's just a picture of but I like, that says, I, shine, I just for shine just for you. That's so sweet, and then think lovely thoughts. These are both great. That's pretty too. I bought I'm getting both of them. I like the I like the flowers in the light bulb. Same. Yeah. It makes me think of um, you know, because I have my uh, trailer park home. <laughs> uh, yeah. But at the same time, that trailer park home is decorated to the prims because there's it, like it no is. room. What I really should just put this up and stratagem because we still have not finished decorating. Yeah. So I yeah we have more to do there. There's always something to do. <laughs> All right, are we good to go? We are. All right, we are at Izzy's, 
And she's coming at us again with some Fix Under Eyelashes Concealer. Yeah. Yeah, I see what she's saying. Bomb layers yeah, for the Luca Yeah, I've seen Evo this on eggs before. Yeah? You, I, well, I couldn't tell right now if I was suffering from that. I doubt I am, well, though. I don't think you are, but yes, you usually you have all kinds of fun eyeshadows on, yep. so it's... Mm -hmm. But, yeah. uh, yeah. That's very good. Yeah. So 50 linen and you get the whole pack and you get all these yeah, colors. Yeah, you get all of, those, all of those concealers. Yeah. So if you've got a skin you love, but you hate your under eye lashes, then mm -hmm. there you go. You have something for you, thanks to Izzy. Only for Leluca Evo X. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Are we good to go? We are. Okay, Tori, you know, I told you already, I'm doing a long shot because Lulu B mixed it up. <laughs> yeah. And I love this. I feel like she changed her logo as well, maybe? Because she had the planchette uh, for a while. Oh, maybe. And now she's got this different looking. The triple moon. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So maybe she's mixing it up. I like this. I'm and, liking this new store layout. Yeah, and we're behind this, this, this sign in this alcove because I'm thinking this is the sale sale corner it appears to be the sale corner yeah, yeah. So. and i like the little signs that say something magical is coming. yeah i like that too yeah. and so up here yeah because here we have the sale so she's got happy weekend and then she's also got 50 linen friday so if we're focusing on yep. the fliff then we have what is she calling this because i don't see light that. Just, just light light okay mm -hmm. So it says rigged animated lights and particles, legacy, male and female, Cooper, Reborn, and Maitreya. And then the fliff are the two circled circles, right? So it's yeah. these two right here. And yeah, but they come in like other they're... colors. Yeah. So, so how much for one the... of those is called cotton candy, the other is called ice. Oh, nice. And for me, honestly, uh, I think that's probably all I need. Because <laughs> that would cover yeah. like I could put one on right now and I probably will because it will match my outfit. Uh, you know, actually, uh -huh. it really would. Yeah, so, and you could put one on too because you wanted to. You were trying yeah. out some Lulu B with your outfit, but if we're I, both, I can try it. It's not rigged see. to Jake, but it might be close oh, enough. Oh, true, it's not. My bad. It might be close enough. Yeah, our friend here is wearing it. I think this person, yeah, is demoing it. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, they have a very interesting avatar. <laughs> yeah. So. They've got a mouth on their stomach. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Oh, and they're trying out the other one too. Do you see that? For the, oh, the um, happy weekend. Headpiece? No, no, okay. the the seated the cloud, called up oh. here. Oh, okay, they're yeah, trying they're trying out all three items then, because uh -huh. they're also doing the the aura around their head. Yeah. So, like but yeah, that. they're doing the cloud. Nice. Yeah, I might do similar. That's really cool. <laughs> so, okay, all right. I'm I really sold. like this new store layout though. Yeah. It's it's definitely a nice nice change. Mm hmm Oh. Yes. Did did a wall just appear? near us that did, wasn't did, was, did yes there has is Lula B is she on right in, now is she on right now editing things i What's don't know on? oh it's is gone. she i or don't do no i don't i don't no, know i don't see Lula B on the on the radar here i don't either that so was that's weird strange maybe somebody else oh, there yep. it is again so i don't know all right well let's buy stuff before the store eats us Oh, this is attached. Oh, I see. Huh? This is uh. <laughs> what? Uh, apparently, that's from Elric, and it's part of the demo uh, to make sure that it's just a demo. Oh, gotcha. Okay. <laughs> that's yeah. clever. Yeah. That's clever. Okay. All right. Well, I'm gonna so, buy yeah, stuff. We'll grab we'll stuff, buy stuff. And head on out. Yes. Okay, I am excited for many reasons. First of all, first of all, both of you, both of us are Lulu beat up. We put our yes. light on. Um, I bought the halo around the head. I guess you didn't pick that one up or if you did, I didn't get the halo. You didn't, no. you didn't unpack it. But um, so we got we are all Lulu bead and then we got to movement and I'm like sold and I just bought it and put it on. So <laughs> this is called burger packing. And my yeah. my texture just fuzzed out on me, but I am holding huh. it. I'm wearing it. This is adorable. So I've got like a it. cute little burger. I've got fries. I, apparently, I got chicken nuggies. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and you got your drink with your big old straw. Yep. That's fantastic. 
You're set. I love this so much. I'm. I got a snack. I got Lulubi. I got Fliff designers head to toe. I'm all set. Yeah. It weren't saying that I'm wearing the legacy mail uh, rigging. It's mm -hmm. it's pretty close. It's close enough for for me, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And then so fifty linen per color, or it was like uh, more than that for the fat packs. <laughs> So, yeah. And then I also picked uh, up the vlogger one next to it because I couldn't resist. Let's see, the fat pack is four fifty. Mm hmm But according it looked like in the fat pack you still only just get the two, so it's really not like a deal. If I'm oh. unless I'm looking at it wrong. But um you can buy them separately for fifty limits. Yeah, you can just get each one yeah. separately yeah. for fifty. Yep. Huh. So Alright, are we ready to go? We're ready to go. All right, tour. Where are we? We are at Narmataru. Narmataru, and they have Batwing corset and panty. And they do. It's E Body Reborn Legacy Perky. It's a limited edition pattern for Fluff, and includes a bomb alpha for the waist. So. Yeah, so this has all kinds of like Halloween print on it, mm -hmm. which apparently is back in <laughs> for March. <laughs> but, I mean, in fairness, this is kind of always Narmataru's aesthetic. Oh yeah, so. yeah. So it's not a departure. It doesn't matter what month it is. Yes. Narmataru. So. Yeah. All right. So this is fun. Obviously, I don't want anything restricting your belly. So. No. No. Clearly. <laughs> Clearly. But. Uh, yeah. Okay. That's a fun one. It is. And I think we're good to go. We're good to go. And we're at Nomad, and they Nomad. have something called revolving neon chandelier. Yes. Okay. So some of them. Okay, they're all resting for me. So do they all say the same thing? So, I think so. So what's so what the, is big the big hurry, hurry now? Oh, now it says. So what is the big hurry now? Yep. Oh, I see it. That appears to be what it says. Not sure what the significance of that phrase is, but mm. that is what it says. Uh, I think. You know, chandeliers are cool. Uh -huh. This one rotating is neat. I don't know where I would use it, but I'm getting it. Absolutely. It's unique. I've not seen anything like this before. Me neither. So we absolutely need to pick this up. Yeah. 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 Okay. I'm just watching it go around going, huh. Yeah, I'm it's trying to hypnotic. It is. And I'm trying to wrestle out, like, what's the significance? Like, what is this question referencing that maybe I'm not picking up on? So, I'm not yeah. sure. It might not be referencing anything. It's possible that it's just uh, suggesting folks need to slow down. Probably. That's probably a good way to take the good spin on it. I would agree with that. <laughs> good spin. On but I'm um, just. Yes. Uh, and the one is colored just like you. So that's it fun. is. <laughs> All right. Are we good to go? Yeah. All right, tour. Where are we? We're at North Oak. They are not selling cor corgi plush corgis. They are, but not for Flifty. Not for the Fliff. Sorry. Not for the Fliff. They are selling. It I got people. distracted by them, and you're like, no, no, that's not what's for sale to from the Fliff. And it's these <laughs> items. It's the clutter items. Yeah. So we've got shoes on Vogue, or actually they call Vague. <laughs> Vague. And then the, that's good. the basket with the fronds or whatever plumes yeah so they're calling this the basket pompous grass okay yeah. and the shoe and magazine decor okay very good so i'm gonna get these don't know where i would use them but uh well, you know i'm gonna get it too because that, we have that whole room that's a dressing room and i need we to do. put stuff on the closet so oh yeah having some shoes on vague would yeah. be good shoes on vague <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. All right. Okay. I'm going to pick these Perfect. up and then we can keep moving. All right. That sounds good. All right. Tour, we're someplace new. We are. We're at Oat Milk. Oat Milk. Which is a fun store name. Yeah. And they have two items for Fliff. They do. And the one that caught my attention right away was this peaceful incense because this is me. <laughs> yeah. I thought you would be uh -huh. gravitating towards that. Yep. Yep. I don't know that you can uh, attach more things. No, I am out of attachments for the night. 
Yeah. So. But you'll definitely have to rock this yes. in a future one. And then you have the Allura piercing set. Mm -hmm. It comes with four metals and nine gem textures. And, who, and it's unrigged. Okay. I was like, who does it fit? Yeah. Yeah. So it fits everyone because it's unrigged. So. It fits everyone. Probably would be more for photography, but you know, it's, it works with some things as long as you don't get too crazy with the yeah. facial animations. Yeah. Yeah, it's lovely. So I like seeing yeah. a new store in the mix. Yeah, absolutely. So. And I look forward to seeing what kinds of things they uh, put forward. Yeah, because I don't know how, there's a few things in the store. We'll have to cam around and see. For sure. So yeah, there's a few things here and there. So I'll cam around, but yeah, it's nice to see a new designer on the list. Welcome, Oat Milk. All right, yes. we are Look off to the next. Look forward to covering them in the future. Yes. yes, we're off to the next. All right, Tour, we are at Peaches. We are. And for Fliff, they have Tanwin's Cosmetic Clutter. So, yeah, so it's just a whole, whole mess of clutter options for for your uh, doing your, what are those videos called? Like getting ready get videos. ready with me yeah yeah <laughs> i should pick it up because i keep talking about doing that now that zippers made you like do. an interactive compact <laughs> so i'll pick it up for that reason because i gotta get a bathroom ready to do get ready with me videos in yeah so and then does this table have like the various clutter yep it has it all out yep tablet and all that bathroom clutter so 50 linden for the cosmetic clutter is it 50 linden for the tablet for a saturday so it is yeah okay. the tablet and you get paper clips and like a little plant i think maybe you don't get the plant i don't see the plant on the table <laughs> no i do see I do. the plant on it's the right table. there yeah. yeah it was just away from the tablet yeah yeah okay so yeah very good yep now that you've reminded me about my desire to make get ready with me videos i am going to pick this up <laughs> all right are we good to go Yep, we are. Okay, dear. We are at Seven Emporium, so this is all you. We've got some funky cat pictures, so what's we your do. take? What's the hot take? Well, so this is apparently a, a set. Um, mm. Here's to you, and it's suggested. There's actually another one. Um, yeah. Over on the other side mm -hmm. of us. Mm -hmm. But... Uh, yeah, I don't know what's going on with this cat. Same cat, just with different uh, adjustments, and they've got different titles. So mm -hmm. this first one is called Can You See My Patch? Which, yep. <laughs> <laughs> the other one is The Smiler, uh -huh. which is kind of disturbing to see... Human teeth on a cat? Humanish teeth in a cat, yep. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, and the other? Oh, and the one over there. Let's see. That one's just called Here's to You. So that might be the original. And then these are the variations off that one. So do your cats smile at you like that? No, no not like that. Does that give you nightmares? <laughs> if I stared at it too long or hung it up, uh -huh. it probably would. So wait, does this mean you're not buying these? Uh, well, I actually got the one with the eye patch because that's kind of amusing. <laughs> but not I the had smiler. A cat with one eye, actually. Really? I did have to. Add, I did ask about doing like an eye patch sort of thing, but uh -huh. um, the cat. I I don't think he would have gone for it. Yeah. Uh, so now I instead, it was just wouldn't. sewn shut, which yeah. Was, he was um he was an interesting cat named Kiwi uh -huh. who uh, he he was very very territorially protective and didn't really know his own limitations okay so he went after a very large dog oh, that was no. just passing by the front um, like just walking along the street uh -huh. with their owner and just charged up to him got in a tangle with him and ended up getting a, a gash across his his eye and it couldn't be saved gotcha. so wow yeah but i mean he wasn't bothered by it he adapted mm -hmm. pretty well to only having one eye hmm. so strange cat yeah all right then so you've picked up one photo yeah i hope to see this in stratagem one day 
Well, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> I want to see all the Seven Emporium stuff you've picked up, because you are you don't pick it all up. You just pick up no. certain pieces. So. Yeah, pieces that remind me of something or that I find particularly personally interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, let's keep moving. Okay. Okay. I can tell by the signs we are at short leash. Yeah. And it looks like we have rings. We do. We have functional rings. Okay. Why do you say so functional? These rings are set up to be leash holders. Oh, okay. They are ring compatible with open collar, peanut, and whim systems. Okay. You can wear them on right and left, and they have a him and her version. So they've got the hmm. Persian ring, which is for women, and they've got the marquee ring for men, which I have picked up. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Okay, I'll pick up. I'll pick this up for her too. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It is. And so fifty linen per set, right? Yeah, you get all of those colors. Okay. All for right. The fifty linen. Very good. I'm gonna pick one up, and we'll be on our way. All right, tour. I know where we are. Yep. Look at me. Look at you. <laughs> You're looking at me. We're at Valentina E. We're at Valentina E. You need to tell me if these dresses behind me fit me. Both of them do. What? Both did, of these. Did Valentina E hear my shopping prayers? Maybe so. But this I is Laura Petit, did. Reborn, and Legacy. <gasps> oh my goodness. Both okay, dresses. look at these. Okay. One of these is a nice low backed number. Oh, yes. Very nice. Oh very my goodness! Sexy. Yes. The other one has all this n nice strappiness. I uh, think I just changed my outfit for the Founders Day party. Uh huh. Because I already have what I'm wearing to the Flifty, and I'm like, we'll yeah. just wear that to the thing that we have later. Because I have a DJ set, and then yeah. what? Now that I'm looking at this, that black number right there, that's mm. what I'm wearing tomorrow. Yep. But wow. All right. So where's the fat pack of this? Because that's what I want to know. It's in this room somewhere, right? <laughs> like, where are the... I, I just don't want one color each. I want all of them. Okay. Well, we'll find that. I see. But I'm... Okay, you found it? Yeah. There, and I was looking at the new release stuff, too. And I'm like, oh. this, like, little frumpy frock? I'm interested in that, too. Like, I like weird shit like that. <laughs> it's like you go from yeah. sexy to frumpy frock, but it's, like, stylish frumpy frock, if you know what I mean. Is it the one in the middle there? Yeah, the black and the green one in the middle. Yeah, that one's not for you. Damn, because I would have rocked that too. But um, the one on the right is the the diamond. Yeah. Diamond yeah. one, and the one on the left is as well. Oh, okay. So she's doing a lot of them. She's finally coming around. She's absolutely coming around. Fantastic. Very hyped about that. Yeah, so I'm gonna buy the fat packs of these. So. Um, so 50 linen per color and you should get them because even as I'm looking at the I mean I'm assuming the fat pack has more in it because the colors that are offered for Fliff are not the same as what's on display over there so right. I'll have to find oh, I'm just going to buy the fat packs and find out how many colors are in there because you know that's often a question I, I, I'm pretty sure you remember like when we've been at events or at least when yeah. I'm at an event people are I've, somebody's even asked me in local you think there's more colors in the fat pack? <laughs> and I'm like, I'm pretty sure there are. I think it's always yeah, kind of a so. bit of a mystery with Valentina E. But I'll yeah. take it. I'll gamble. I'll toss my lindens at her and I'll just get all the colors. Whatever colors she wants to give me, I'll take. Yeah, so. it's hard to. Yeah, because it doesn't show right mm -mm, here. Mm -mm. Huh. So, yeah, so I'm going to pick these up for sure. Well, I look forward to seeing you in these. Oh, you are absolutely going to. Hmm. So. All right, let's I keep. I am really, really ha happy to see yes! Valentina E embracing the Reborn. Same. All right, are you okay. ready to, like, we yes. have one last stop. Yes. I know you're tired. We're going to make it. Yeah. <laughs> we'll make it. All right, Tour, we're at the last stop. Where are we? We're at You Need. You Need. And what do they have for us today? So they have this uh, dining table set called Misu. Okay. Uh, they have it in blue or white for the uh, Fliff 
versions. You can also get the fat pack and be able to control all kinds of stuff for mm -hmm. a very reasonable 190. Yeah. That's so. good. You yeah. don't often see a setup like this, especially with like the three and three, you know? No. Usually it's for a table don't. of four or whatever. Yeah. And obviously you can rearrange. It doesn't have to be three and three. You yeah. can shuffle things around, but it's nice that it, you know, can compress that nicely. Mm -hmm. I agree. All right. Are you picking this up? Yeah. I'm definitely. I figured you would, because you know you decorate a lot. I do, I do, and so. sometimes in different styles. Like this yeah. doesn't match my normal aesthetic, but it is close enough that I could definitely see using it somewhere. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Yep. Okay. Very good. So then we're headed back to Stratagem for closing thoughts. Okay. All right. We're back home in Stratagem. And we're here for real life, or first life. Sorry, I always keep trying to correct that. First <laughs> life thoughts with tour. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so I want to talk about two things coming out of my state. They are extremely concerning, and I know that a lot of more conservative states like to copy things coming out of Florida. Um, so it's war. It, it warns talking about. The first of these um, is a bill that targets trans youth, and uh, I want to walk through a kind of a, a story that, if this passes, and okay, let me let me back up a little bit. Both of these bills probably will not pass up front. However, what we've seen is that conservatives will continue to try to push bills like these until they do pass. They're declarations of intent, and we should take them deadly serious. So, I'm going to walk through a little bit of a hypothetical story, because it's the kind of thing that will happen under this bill. So, let's say that a, um, a couple is raising their child their child comes out as trans. Um, and let's assume that the parents have differing opinions over this and it leads to a divorce. And the trans child, let's say, moves away and lives with the mother who is willing to allow them to get gender affirming care, you know, hormone uh, puberty blockers, hormone injections, etc. The under this bill, the father who intended to prevent these things can forcibly extradite the child in violation of any custody agreement and force them to come back under the father's care where they can refuse that child this treatment. Um, it reclassifies receiving gender-affirming care as child abuse. So, you know, it only takes one sidestep even from this already horrific bill to start going after parents who are even in agreement about how to treat their child here in the state. So, um, it also, of course, you know, denies funding any agency uh, uh, funds if they are a, a agency that is providing gender affirming care. So, uh, yeah, this is the continued assault against trans people in, and especially trans children in America. Um, as a reminder, they are claiming that this is to protect children, even though these kinds of attacks are exactly what lead to self-harm, suicidal ideation, etc. So their way of allegedly helping is basically to wage an ongoing steady march into the different levels of genocide. I don't see how that is helping. Um, but 
you know, it's the kind of thing where they don't see trans people as legitimate people. So, presumably they will only be satisfied when trans people no longer exist. Anyway, that is a horrible, horrible bill, and um, like I said, it is unlikely to pass, but it should be assumed that it could pass at any time because they do continue to try these things. This one just, the ability to completely negate custody agreements and the will of the child is, is insane to me. I agree with you. I had no idea that that was going on, that a bill like yeah. that was being proposed. Am I surprised that it's being proposed in Florida? Nope. Does it, yeah. does it change the fact that that's a really horrendous bill? I'm just, I, I'm over here shaking my head as I listen to you. Yeah, it's, it's, an, it's really insane. Because yeah. uh, this is for like one of the parents to seize the child from the other parent uh, so that they can be transphobic towards that child. Now this, like I said, it is just one step removed from the state seizing children from parents who are providing gender affirming care. Um, and we have seen that in the past, um, the forcible seizure of children from their, from their parents and from their home environment, uh, especially with indigenous people. It's, it is all tied to genocidic ambition or genocidal ambition. Um, and yeah. Anyway, the other one, like I said, another bill coming out of Florida um, would, uh, this one is set up to require any bloggers or commentators or anything to, who are writing about or covering Ron DeSantis and what the state legislature is doing to register with the state as a blogger um, and disclose any uh, payments they get, etc. Hmm. Like, this would cover what I do. I would be, because I have a Patreon mm -hmm. and I do political commentary, I would be required to register with the state or be fined uh, an, basically an infinite um, amount because it's $25 a day uh, for each day that you're not registered mm. per per article. So what does this do? This provides the state and law enforcement a list of all vocal activists in the state mm -hmm. if they do decide to register. If they don't decide to register, it gives them a vehicle to go after and harass them and you know possibly arrest them because fines are always ultimately backed up with state violence mm -hmm. um uh, again this is unlikely to pass but it is it, it is absolutely a declaration of intent and the declaration of intent is to silence with actual state censorship anyone critical of the state um and when I say state censorship, like I, I highlight that because a lot of conservatives whine and cry endlessly when they get banned off of some platform because they can't stop shouting slurs or can't stop espousing like anti-Semitic uh, conspiracy theories or whatever. That's not censorship. That's just violating your terms of service of where you want to post and, you know, finding out about it. Um, this is wielding actual state violence to silence anyone who is not ideologically pure. This is actually like, <laughs> I, 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 th I think that people may miss exactly how bad a bill like this could go. 
because like we don't ha we don't have a system where journalists and stuff have to register normally um that's not a thing like you you can get a press pass obviously um but presumably the first amendment should prevent people from being required to register with the state before they criticize the state but not according to DeSantis. It's insane. It is. And then it has me wondering, so he's going to be running for president, right? Oh, yeah. He would absolutely want to roll this out nationally. Does he already said that he's running for president? No, he has not. Because somebody he's else just... has. Some other chick. Some Republican chick. Haley? Yeah. Haley. Yeah. Nikki Haley. Yeah. And she used to work in the cabinet or something. Right. She was the UN ambassador, I want yeah. to say. Yeah. So I know that she had put her hat in the ring. And I know it's expected for DeSantis, too. Yeah. I mean, DeSantis and has that made That guy's every, a nightmare. <laughs> I'm sorry. Every move I'm not the... sorry. <laughs> he's, he just makes me cringe every single time I hear his name. Yeah. he's. A, I mean, he's 100% a fascist and he desires to be a dictator. Hmm. There's. I, I'm not speaking hyperbolically there. That is 100% what he is. Mm -hmm. And the uh, typical news coverage of him does not... It refuses to use that kind of language. But mm -hmm. I'm I'm willing to go there because I, I see what it is. I know what it is. I know exactly how these policies will be used. And I know from history where they go. You know, these are policies that come right out of existing dictatorships, which strictly control who is allowed to talk about the state mm -hmm. and will go after people who step out of line. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, both of those are terrible. So, <laughs> yeah, I don't have any good news today. Sorry. No. But... <laughs> No, but usually, you know, when you talk about first life things, it's like many of our viewers will comment that they appreciate the, you know, reminder of the reality that we live in. Um, yeah. So I don't expect you to be sunshine and roses or unicorns, <laughs> sunshine and uni rainbows. And well, you know what I mean? Yeah. So. Yeah. But did you have anything other uh, other sad first life things to share with us? <laughs> <laughs> no, those were the two bills that I wanted those to cover. Are huge. And um, you have links for us, right? That I'm putting in the description? I do, yes. Okay. I have links for both of those. Uh, and again, like I said, the, the coverage of them in articles and on the news, they don't go far enough in recognizing the harm that can be done, especially on the uh, one about bloggers. They don't see it as a apparatus for law enforcement to to muzzle people who step out of line mm. according to the state mm -hmm. um but i you know i've been identified on site by police i know that they keep tabs already on people that mm. you know are quote unquote disruptive so activists who are advocating for rights and i think that's a new um, piece of information you just dropped i don't think i knew that <laughs> so they roll up and they're like you're tour blanche uh well no not well well yeah. yes so you know what i mean um uh yeah i so when a you know cops will often like ask who you are or whatever um when they want to give you trouble they'll, they'll ask for your id or something and if they're not like charging you or whatever you don't have to produce your id just on request um so i didn't in this one instance and they told me they said we know who you are derek <laughs> oh my goodness um and I, which is my first life name. Mm -hmm. I don't mind saying that. Mm -hmm. um, and I was like, oh, well, okay. Are you charging me with something? Um, 
and they just let me know that they were watching me. You know. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> You've never told me that before. No. <laughs> that would freak me no. out. You were not freaked out. I mean, yes, I was, but also that's kind of comes with the territory. Um, that's like that's what law enforcement is there to do at protests. They're there to be a chilling effect. They're there to try and silence people who are advocating for rights or airing grievance. They're not there to keep the peace. They're there as an opposition force. And, you know, I'm, I'm very acutely aware of this. Uh, so it wasn't that surprising, but yeah. <laughs> When you when you start showing up to a lot of protests and things, they they start keeping an eye on you, especially when you're someone who frequently is behind a megaphone, which I try to be. <laughs> oh wow! So, because oh. you know, I, I at protests like a lot of it is marching and tan chanting and stuff, but I also like to take it as an opportunity to to further educate because a lot of people they're there because they are upset about the thing mm -hmm. but a lot of people aren't plugged in even far enough to to fully understand the thing that they're upset about um uh and and that's not you know that's not to say that they um that their like hearts in the wrong place by any means mm -hmm. um but it's just it's an opportunity to on a larger scale get people a bigger understanding of the systems in place that have created these outcomes that are being protested about mm -hmm. so i do often like do little lectures about whatever we're there for and um so now you have me imagining because i've never obviously seen you in activist action in first no. life and no. now i'm wondering like are you like calmly talking in the megaphone like you're talking to us now or is this like amped up activist lecture it's a little more amped up but it's <laughs> more subdued than a lot of people because uh, <laughs> i don't see you going over the top like but I've never seen you in that mode. Like, I know you get more fired up about things and I know you go to protests like yeah. way more than I ever have. Like <laughs> I've only like, I've only been to protests like right around like 2016 and yeah. the immediate aftermath of that. Um, and then it just kind of tapered off for me, but right. um, just, just for reasons i don't need to belabor but yeah um, I, I, I know We've so about yeah one. you and i have talked about it but um so and even though i know these things about you i like i said there's some new knowledge here and you don't often <laughs> surprise me with new knowledge because we talk about a lot of things you know off camera so i know things yeah um but i i did not know this story so like our viewers i'm you know learning this just now <laughs> so yeah yeah and i now i'm just envisioning you with a megaphone giving your your passionate lectures um yeah dialed up a little bit a little you know dialed up as much as tour gets dialed up <laughs> yeah I, I punch it up a bit yeah you do yeah. <laughs> and i know you told me about the like the one time you almost came to blows with somebody yes i don't know if it was just one time maybe there's more times i don't know about uh there's there's a, uh, I mean, like I, I have actually, but oh this gosh. was. <laughs> you not... have in the time that I've known you, you have? N no, not in the time okay. that I've known you. Okay, because you um, haven't told me that story. I would think that's something you would tell me. <laughs> um, but before that. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's rough out there. Yeah. All right. Well, do you have any other things you want to share with us? <laughs> no, that's that's pretty good. We All can, right, that's plenty. Can that's take it for, yep. A lot of new information. Bring us to a close. All right. Well, you know, when we come around to closing, I'm just appreciative of everyone who watches our videos for being here, for commenting, liking, sharing with friends. Our subscriptions shot up a little bit. We're at 172 now. 
Woo. Um, so we're we're close to another day of speedo. We are. Yeah. Two hundred. Because you have promised me every one hundred. I've promised you this <laughs> next one at least. <laughs> I just and wait we'll for you to next. correct me. Yeah. Yep. So I like to think that you have agreed to every one hundred subs. You like to think a lot of things. I do. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah, so I appreciate everyone. I love making new friends. Like, I love that our Fliff video this week started out with new friends, new cow people. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> so, there was, was the one gal fun. in my IMs about, like, oh my God, where, why, how are you making these cow sounds? And I want to make them too, <laughs> which was my bumper. It's the whole, excuse me, that one. Um, and then the other gal was just, you know, she's cow people too, but she had forgotten her cow bits. And then she eventually put them on. And that's Mubu. Like, how could you not be a cow person with a name like Mubu? Mubu. Yeah. Yep. And so she doesn't know it yet, or maybe she will after watching this, but we're using the picture she took as a thumbnail. <laughs> that was your brilliant suggestion, because usually you take the picture for us. But uh, Yeah, since... but we've never had a fan that just no. spontaneously decided, hey, can I photograph you? And took a and good one, too. It's a good one, yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to use that and make it work. So. Yeah. But yeah, so we appreciate everyone. Thank you so much. We're going to be, we didn't do the flifty last week because busy real life, first life. Yeah, there was a lot going on. Yeah. And so we're going to do it tomorrow morning, um, but we're yes, going to flip the script and tour is going to film it because yes, I am yeah. making good progress on my dissertation. And I know I'm so, I made, I hit a major milestone recently. And so exciting. So, so I really, really want to be Dr. Lala like ASAP. And yes. so, <laughs> um, so yeah, so I, the flifty videos take me a lot of time. And so Tor was kind enough to remind me that he too can shoot video and edit it, which he can, because you have absolutely done that for me when I'm traveling or, you know, you've done, you yep. do your own videos. And that was the other thing I was going to ask you. You don't want to plug your other video that I saw earlier this week? Oh yeah, I can. Are you going to link that for them too? Sure. I'll add that to the link list. Okay. Um, in 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 short it's it's more geared and aimed at um at, at people that would consider themselves allies mm -hmm. um but it's kind of about defining the role of uh you know someone who wants to be an ally which a lot of people get confused about that and think that their role is to draw boundaries around the marginalized group that is trying to advocate for their own rights and like critique what they're doing and that's that's not the role when they call the play you back the play that's it mm -hmm. that's the agreement so i i i don't i i talk about a kind of recent um stuff that's been going on kind of around that so yeah i'll, I'll link that video up yeah, and then people can watch it and see the real life tour. <laughs> <laughs> yes. First life tour. <laughs> First life tour, yes. Yeah. So, uh, so again, I'll just sum up with thank you. Thank you, everyone, for supporting us. We appreciate you being here. Yeah. And are you going to say your thing? Oh, gosh. Uh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. We'll Usually you, you make the... This tomorrow. is how... Okay, tour, let's do this again. And I'm okay. still... This is a blooper moment. I'm leaving it in. Normally, I make my thank yous and Tour makes the last comment. Tour yes. is half asleep. Just saying that yes. for people. He is not checked out because obviously he just made a very, <laughs> very important, like, whole little, you know, speech about first life things. So, but Tour is very tired. <laughs> and more than once, I have cut him off when I'm fading out because he takes too long to say his part. And here I am waiting for it and nothing. So let's try that again, Tour. Take two. Thank you, okay. everyone, for being here. We appreciate you. Uh, yeah, we, we we do appreciate all of our viewers, and we will be seeing you in the next, uh, in the 50 tomorrow. <laughs>